Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18277 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and using skip ahead. And there's a couple of new changes to this around focus assist and action center. We'll have a look at focus assist first. So here you can see the new setting. When I'm using an app in full screen mode, it only allows alarms through. So if I do that, there you go. So if I'm in a full screen mode, like say in Edge, I won't get notifications or interruptions. I'll be able to concentrate on what I'm doing. And then um, I can then, Focus Assist will save those notifications for later. Or if I'm in a window mode, then I'll get the notifications. And of course, if I have that off, then um, it'll do the not uh, show me the notifications as well. Nice little setting and um, good to see in, in there. The other change is in Action Center. Brightness is now a proper brightness slider. You probably can't see this through my video, but as I change that, it changes the brightness rather than having that suggested and brightest and but toggle button, you've now got that, which is great. I'm, I'm glad they've done that. Another change is this setting here, advanced scaling settings for high DPI, where it comes up message saying, do you want to fix your blurry applications? That was switched off by default it's now switched on, so it'll just do it rather than keep asking you so you get less uh, notifications. So the rest of the changes are fairly minor. There's things like, uh, they've fixed some things like WSL that didn't work in 18272. I have to say as well, when I was installing this, I did get a green screen crash halfway through the update process, about 60%, and um, but it did recover from that okay, which is really good. Um, they fixed some issues with task view in uh, when you're using the virtual desktops, multiple monitors. They fixed some issues with um, the home page of settings. Uh, they, they are changing some things like the differences in File Explorer. They're gonna they said, they said they're gonna inside is gonna see some changes in the coming months, but they haven't given any details of that yet. So um, maybe I should side by side this and see if I can spot any details, but I haven't noticed anything yet. Uh, so there's a whole list of uh, uh, fixes on the digitallifestyle.com where I've written all these up. But there's also um, some known issues, getting things ready. Um, this has been going for ages where uh, you get an, a 0x message and then it sort of tries to download again. Uh, PDFs may or may not display correctly in Edge. There's um, what they call a race condition resulting in blue screens if your PC is set to dual boot. So I don't think you can use dual boot at the moment. That was present in the previous build. Uh, there's a couple of sticky note issue, issues as well. And the settings page may crash after changing account or pin. We recommend using control delete method to change the password. So there you go. So those are the main changes. There's something like emojis and some other language changes. But those are the most main changes in 18277. Uh, still yet to get the really exciting new features into uh, 19H1. This build expect or this release expected first half of next year, springtime. Thanks for watching this video. You can follow me on Twitter at ISDix and subscribe if you like our videos. Thanks for the comment I got from a previous uh, on one of the previous videos saying they like these videos. Thanks very much. I'll see you on the next one.